edition of the Spiritual Revival Hour. It's always a pleasure to be able to come into your homes again and bring to you this program of words and songs of inspiration, consolation, and education. We are pleased today to come to you and bring you a good report. Out of all that's going on in our community, there are those who have been praying with us Things seem to be getting a little better, but you have to be very cautious, very careful, and be your own lifeguard. And remember what I said, now the life you save, not only can be yours, but also can be somebody else. We want to thank all of you for your prayers. And so many of you whom I talked to this past week I talk to so many people that have concerns about their family, their relatives and their children. Looking at their children, not paying attention to the methods and procedures that set up for their own safety. And I can understand parents and grandparents being concerned about their teenagers out not creating the space between them, not wearing face masks, not wearing gloves, just seem like ignoring the fact that so many thousands and thousands of people are losing their lives because of not, of not paying attention to the guidance that's before them for their own safety. We have so many calls from different parents and grandparents and do. I try to arrange my trips. If I have to go somewhere now, I try to put them all into one day. Sometimes I leave home and I got eight different places on my index card to go. And I follow that and do them all in one day to keep from having to make so many trips different days. And in doing that this week, this past week, I came in contact with a lot of young people, young adults, youth in the street, four and five, sometime more than that, in each other's face, just like nothing is happening in our community that's dangerous to their lives. One thing good about three of the situations, the young people knew me. They spoke to me. That gave me an opportunity to stop and talk with them. They respected me. 
And above all, they thank me for chastising them. And that's what I did. And the reason why I chastised them, because they were putting themselves into danger. So we must, as parents, as community leaders, as citizens, period, not only look out for ourselves, but we have to look out for others. So many people have a complaint about wearing face masks. I've heard it so many times. I don't have nothing. I don't need to wear a face mask. That's not the point. It's not only to protect you. It's to stop you from giving something to somebody else. Then it's so easy for somebody to say, well, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't have nothing. You don't know what you have unless you have been checked. Please remember that. No matter how you feel, you don't have to show any symptoms at all. And be examined and the results be positive. So let's be wise, let's be smart and be your own lifeguard. And in saving yourself, you may save somebody else. As we continue here on the Spiritual Revival Hour with some of the senior centers being closed now and a lot of people are under different rules and regulations and can't do things, they don't have the freedom to go like they used to have. That I have been praying and thinking and asking the Lord to direct me and how to go with the production of the spiritual revival hour that will be most meaningful in these days and times. We're going to take our cameras and go to the community, do interviews, become involved with the community, those out in the community. Talk to our senior citizens, talk to our young adults. Listen to them from their perspective. If they're putting their lives in danger, try to find out why. Maybe you can do like I did this past week and educate them. These are troubling times. Today, during our live segments, we have two special presentations that we're going to present to you today. A few months ago, Maria Cabrera and I paid a visit to the Wilmington Senior Center, the oldest senior center in Newcastle County. We interviewed Elisa Clark and the director there. We're going to present that interview to you today. It's all about finding out what's going on, where we can make sure that on the Spiritual Revival Hour, it serves its purpose making sure people are aware of what to do and when to do it and how to do it. So stay tuned, we're gonna to go to a song of inspiration and meditation and words of education. Doesn't matter where you are, and I don't mean in this room, I mean in your heart, 
I mean in your mind. I mean in your situation. I mean in your station in life right now. It doesn't matter where you are. He can pick you up. You're not so far that you're outside of his reach. He can reach to you and get you. If you would just lift your hands, even as a little child lifts their hands to their father. He says, Daddy, pick me up. Up, 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 Daddy, up. Even for the most hardened heart, for the most religious mindset, he can catch you off guard, he can catch you by surprise and speak to you and reach you right where you are when you least expect it. Doesn't have to be business as usual. We want an experience, God. We need an encounter, God. We need you, God. Come on, open up your mouth and just begin to cry out for him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Tell them, church, strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches. You are my hope. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. 
hope like no other. Oh, reaches. In the power of your name. You lift me up. You lift me up. Say it again. Everyone on Medicare. New Medicare Advantage plans are now available. 
Did you know that you may be eligible for additional Medicare-approved benefits that include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more? The Medicare Benefits Hotline is now open. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional Medicare benefits and make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-520-3805 now. In addition to dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage, you may also qualify for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, and no co-pays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you're eligible for additional Medicare benefits that may include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. There's no obligation to enroll. Just call 800-520-3805 to see if you qualify. They come to make you strong. Floating on the sea of trouble. Sorrow falling like rain from the sky. Trotting through life's murky waters. Trials form the tears in your eyes. Don't. Telling you there's a blessing on the other side of food. Closer to voting season, let us remind you all that this is an important election in which will affect the lives of minorities for years to come. So it is imperative that if you are of age and qualify to vote, you must do so and encourage others to do the same. The only thing that you have equal to the president is your vote. And remember that when you vote, vote for the person and not the party. For further information, Call 302-287-4413. Help me, help me, help me, hold me, help me. In the years we've met so many nice people and good customers, uh, I call them my friends. Most of my furniture is contemporary. Good style, good quality. My son does all the buying. We have the lowest prices around. We try to cater to what the uh, area wants. We have a wonderful delivery service, uh, probably better than anybody in the city. We've been here 34 years. Just come in and say hi. Welcome to the Wilmington Senior Center. I am Maria Cabrera and I'm here with the Spiritual Revival Hours on-site production to learn about everything that's going on here at the Wilmington Senior Center. One of the things that we're doing with the Spiritual Revival Hours is making our seniors aware of all the different services and programs that are available to them throughout the city of Wilmington, throughout the different centers, and this one being very key in the fact that you're one of the bigger ones, you have a lot of programming, and 
And we are very anxious to learn about what that is so that more of our Wilmington seniors will participate. Well, that is our goal here. The Wilmington Senior Center happens to be the oldest senior center in the state of Delaware, and it's the first in the city of Wilmington. Wow. And that's important to know because our Wilmington residents would need to connect with that. that we have history. And the city has history, and if you make those connections and come on board, we look forward to that. And tell us about your role exactly. What do you do here? Well, I'm the director of social services, and I oversee several programs here that um, our members are able to partake of, as well as some of them I'm going to describe a little later on. But first, I'd like to introduce you to our front desk staff. And our front desk staff here is James. Hi, this James. Beverly. Hi, James and Beverly. Nice to meet you. Hi. Such beautiful nice to faces to greet us when we yeah. come in. Awesome. Yes. They are and Miss Lisa line. Clark, who yes. is a, Director you know, exactly. Services. So with our front desk, they yeah. are the front line to the center. They're the welcoming committee. They are the paperwork committee. They're also the answer committee to any questions that anyone who wants to be a potential uh, member or who already is a member. They can come to them and they have all the information up front to answer any questions. Great. So they'll know exactly where to go, what to do. That is awesome. Yeah, they even give directions. Awesome. Get here. All that is amazing. <laughs> and this is such a big center, so I'm looking forward to this tour. Great, great. So let us go forward. I think I know where we are. <laughs> Good. Yes, this is our health and wellness center. This is whereby exercise is done. We have an instructor that comes on Mondays and our seniors come and they work out right here in this exercise room. Health and wellness. So this must be where seniors come to stay connected. Yes, this is our technology club and we do, um, our instructor actually teaches them in all facets of technology, which would be our instructors here, Carl Webster. Hi, Mr. Webster. Hi, how you doing? Tell us a little bit what you do here. Um, what I basically do teach um, seniors on technology, and when we talk about technology, we're talking about cell phones, tablets, and laptops. We also have a genealogy work, uh, workshop where people can come in and, and search on their, uh, their heritage. That's amazing. So we're going to get more details about everything that you do here as you help the seniors stay connected and learn about technology. That sounds good. So much information. Tell us about this particular area in the center. This department here is our Caregivers Grandparents Resource Center. In this particular area here, we have all types of resources for grandparents and those who are caregivers to family members or friends, however they're taking care of them. Here they would be able to meet with Yesenia. She does one-on-one. Um, counseling, helps them with any kind of resources that they need in order to be a better caregiver. We also offer support groups for caregivers on um, once a month on a Thursday, the second Thursday of each month at 11 o'clock. We also have a grandparents caregiver oh. support group. That's every Tuesday from 11.30 to 1.30. We bring in community partners, vendors. They have one-on-one -on -one conversations. We play games. Everything to help them to actively deal with being new grandparents because they've already raised their children. Wow. And all of that is located in this particular area here. So much information, so many resources. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest. Well, I'm getting a little bit hungry just coming in here. Tell me what's going on in this room. This room is our food pantry and it is available to any member of the Wilmington Senior Center. Awesome. We are open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And if anyone who comes is assisted by Carol and our social services clerk with acquiring the food that they need for however many days that we can assist them with. When people are on a limited income, this is yes. so important to be able to make ends meet and to make sure that no senior goes hungry. Right here at the Wilmington Senior Center, you can come to the food pantry. Yes, and you just need to be a member of the center in order to be able to partake of the food pantry. Excellent. It is my pleasure to introduce to you at this time, Kathleen Purcell, who's the executive director of the Wilmington Senior Center. Thank you for joining us in the Spiritual Revival Hours. We're doing Thank this on-site production to educate seniors in the city of Wilmington about all the valuable services and programs available to them. And you have so many things, you're under one roof. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? 
Sure. Wilmington Senior Center was the first senior center in the state of Delaware. We were founded in 1956, so we are 63 years old wow. this year. Um, uh, we are the cornerstone of caring in the Brandywine Village community. Um, we wow. offer all kinds of programs and services to seniors. Our definition of senior, believe it or not, is age 50 plus. I guess I can join. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, Maria. And we'd be glad to give you an application. Today. Well, yeah, I want to do the bingo and maybe the exercise <laughs> classes. Oh, the exercise class on Monday morning at 930 is uh, a crowded house. Mm -hmm. And we just redid our room and we're in the process of getting new equipment. And um, that was uh, underwritten by Discover Card. Excellent. Uh, yeah. So you cover all aspects of the wellness uh, and the wellness that a senior or someone yes. going into their golden years would need and just even members of the community. Yes, physical, emotional, spiritual. Yeah. Um, our Bible study class on Thursday is one of our largest programs, yeah, and that's right. at 1045 on Thursdays. Um, and that is a great group. And we yeah. recently purchased um, large print Bibles. What does a person have to do to become a member? Membership in the Senior Center is $20 per year. Wow, very so, affordable. And we serve a hot lunch uh, uh, every day. Um, and lunch is $2, sir. And we offer transportation within a five mile radius for a dollar a day. That's excellent, especially people trying to get to their appointments. So there seems to be one stop shopping. If you come to the Wilmington Senior Center, um, they can come here and get all the resources that they need, whether it's exercise, health, wellness, uh, social services, technology, food, spiritual awareness, and just to be with you lovely ladies too, being here would be a, an added benefit. Thank you for coming. We really enjoyed this visit. Yes, and we're going to keep highlighting the wonderful programs that are here at the Wilmington Senior Center. You're here with Maria Cabrera and we're here with Lisa Clark at the Wilmington Senior Center and we are highlighting all the different services and programs that are located all here under one roof. And last but not least, we're in the area, the dining room area, but I understand this is a social hall, a community room, and so many things happen here. So Lisa, can you tell us what else goes on in this beautiful space? Well, this, this area being the largest room that we have, is whereby we put on different events, bazaars, fairs. We also have um, game night, bingo, as, as you can see. My we favorite. <laughs> uh, we also have our grand family's night, which is the third Tuesday of every month. And that occurs. We do respites. We serve lunch. We do, I mean, dinner. And we serve activities for the children and the grandparents. Awesome. And That's they great. just need to RSVP for that. They do not have to be a member, however, for that particular program. But also what occurs in this room is fellowship and dining and different celebrations, any type of seasonal events. We decorate here. We, we, you know, give each other a chance to just celebrate one another. People come together to the fellowship. And I understand you have groups that come in. Some yes. do workshops, education, mm -hmm. seminars. And yes. you had one of the groups you said the Deltas come in. Right, right. Currently, we have the Wilmington chapter of the Delta sorority. They come in on our grandparents night Great. and they actually do activities activities with our grandparents and our children, which is just phenomenal. We also have um, Always Best Care, which is also connected to us. They okay. rent from us. They come and they put on health fairs here. We have bazaars are done here. Christmas holidays, vendors come in, community partners. It's just an area where every pretty, everything can So there's place. a hub of activity in yes. this room. So the Wilmington Senior Center, located at 1901 Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware. You can call if you want to rent the space. You can call to find out if you want to join, participate, become a member for only $20 a year. Uh, there's so many things that go on here. There's social services. Um, this is your one-stop community center. And our telephone number is 302-651-3400. So that's 
3,400. And we will post all these numbers so you can see them right online. Uh, thank you again for joining us with the Spiritual Revival Hours on-site production as we go out throughout the city of Wilmington and beyond to highlight the different services and programs available in our community with a special focus on our seniors and our aging community to make sure that you stay involved, that you stay active, and that you have quality of life. I am Maria Cabrera. I thank you Lisa for Thank joining you. us, Kathleen Purcell, the executive director. As we move on to continue to do this, you will see me out and about. Looking forward to staying connected with you. thanking him, I know that I have a right. Whatever I need, he will supply. I believe tonight somebody just wants him to open up the windows of heaven for you. Let it rain. Send down your blessings, Lord. I just need you to move in this place tonight. I just need you to move in this place tonight. He's doing it right now. Hallelujah. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Somebody say it tonight.
but I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. Anybody feel the rain? Anybody in this place can feel the rain? I feel the rain. Yes, so anybody in here you feel the rain? I feel the rain. I feel the rain. Maybe you need to look at somebody and tell them it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Everyone on Medicare. New Medicare Advantage plans are now available. Did you know that you may be eligible for additional Medicare approved benefits that include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more? The Medicare Benefits Hotline is now open. Just call the toll free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional Medicare benefits and make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Just call 800 520 3805 now. In addition to dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage, you may also qualify for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, and no copays. Just call the toll free number on your screen now to see if you're eligible for additional Medicare benefits that may include free eyeglasses, free hearing aids, free meal delivery, free rides to medical appointments, and much more. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. There's no obligation to enroll. Just call 800-520-3805 to see if you qualify. They come to make you strong Floating on the sea of trouble Sorrow falling like rain from the sky Trotting through life's murky waters Trials form the tears in your eyes Don't Telling you there's a blessing on the other side of food. Closer to voting season, let us remind you all that this is an important election in which will affect the lives of minorities for years to come. So it is imperative that if you are of age and qualified to vote, you must do so and encourage others to do the same. The only thing that you have equal to the president is your vote. And remember that when you vote, vote for the person and not the party. For further information, call 302-287-4413. Help me, help me, help me, hold me, help, help me. me.
We know it's cold, but we're on fire. This tax season, nobody beats Brandywine. Nobody. It's an all-out price war. You haven't seen prices and furniture, mattresses, rugs, accessories anywhere, nor will you anywhere. We'd love you to shop around, because this tax season, nobody beats Brandywine Furniture. Benjamin Twin B. Brown from the Spiritual Revival Hour, Channel 28, Least Access. We are on site at His Image Barbershop here with one of my good friends, a young man who has been, I've been trying to get on the air, do an interview with for years. So I finally got a hold of him, and he has his lovely daughter here with him there. Uh, Derek Green, how are you doing today, my brother? Oh, wonderful, man. Welcome to the shop. Man. Well, we don't have to have no special introduction or nothing uh, like that. You and I talked about this on Lee Fuller Board. Oh, yeah. A long time ago about doing an interview. Yeah. But with this academic that's going on now, uh, and things seem to be, everybody seems to be upset. Yeah. People have different opinions about it. Now, one of the things that I learned when I was working in Baltimore for the city of Baltimore, I worked during the, one of the elections there. Mm -hmm. And we found out that most power, when it comes down to reaching the community or finding out the perspective of the community, is to go and visit the barbershops or the beauty salon. I agree. Salon. Yeah, I agree. That's where everybody goes from preaching on down to everybody. So, uh, what is your perspective of, of the uh, academic and how, how are people are talking? What are some of the things that you are hearing? Um, it's a lot of mixed feelings. Uh, people are hurt, you know what I mean? People are scared. Um, and a lot of times, I think um, most people feel like they're in the dark, too. You know what I mean? They're getting some information, but it's just, you know, they're not comfortable right now. They don't know when they're going to go back to work. You know what I mean? They don't know where the money's going to come from. Um, a lot of people trying to get some type of uh, help or funds from the state or the government, and they don't know if it's coming, when it's coming. Um, I know that they got the twelve hundred dollars. You know, what I mean, a lot of people did get that, which is, you know it helps. You know, but where we at now, they got to choose whether it's twelve hundred dollars for food or twelve hundred dollars for some bills. You know, so a lot of people are at ease right now. You know, they're not they're not um, they're not comfortable. A lot of people not comfortable. And, and but a lot of them are really uh, not fearing for their help, and second chances on their help. Yeah, so that's of, another thing. A lot of them don't want to wear the mask. They, they, it's every time you talk to, especially our young people about the mask, they say, I don't have nothing. Well, you don't know what you have unless you test it. I agree. So, so it's, a, it's, it's a problem. I get a call from a lot of the senior citizens and a lot of parents about the children going out. They try to make them wear the mask. They don't want to wear the mask. The yeah. next the parents are going to be worried about them because you can catch it. You can catch it uh, anything. You don't know what people have. And I know you got different conversations here in the barbershop. Yeah. You have about how many barbers here on duty sometimes? Two, you say about eight, nine? Well, about eight. Oh, eight. Eight or nine barbers. So, it, so that whole lot of conversation be going on. So that's why it's so important when you want to find out the perspective of the yeah. community. Yeah. Yeah. You go to the beauty parlor of the barber shop. Especially in yeah, Earth. Yes. Now, I know you, you, you're a barber too. I think you touched me up. I did. I sure did. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, what are you hearing from uh, some maybe from some of the females about the uh, problems you have with the divides and all? Um, well, a lot of people are scared, but I think it's just fear of the unknown and not feeling like you have any control over anything is probably the most scary part. But for the most part, I would say people are actually trying to be positive about the situation and just kind of surrender to what is. So that's where it's at now for my clients. But when you think about the number of thousands of people that's dying, yeah, and uh, it's, it's very scary, you it know, is. And, and for people to be so careless and 
and uh, take chances. I don't have nothing in each other's face, not take being distance apart and all of that. Mm -hmm. That's a chance because even young people now, it was a time when they said it, Young people wasn't wasn't catching it, but now within the last couple of weeks, you got a lot of young people. Here. Yeah. Uh, they had a had a daycare. A little kid in, in, uh, on, the, on the news last night. A, a daycare was talking about a little kid in the daycare that was tested. Wow! Oh so so it's a serious matter. So I agree. At, but in your conversation, mm -hmm. I know you 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 gonna straighten people out if somebody coming in with a conversation off off key. Absolutely, you're gonna straighten them out. Right. So what are you telling them when they come with that off talk? Um, I mean, generally before this, because of course we're shut down into you know for the notes from the government government. But in his image, we always keep a great atmosphere. We always try to educate people on the important things of life, you know what I mean? Whether it's business or something they're interested into or just the fact that staying out of trouble. So in here, we keep the atmosphere pretty uh, family oriented. You know what I mean? We got kids coming here, we got mothers coming here. And I don't just want to just limit it to them. We want to respect the brothers that come in here, you know? And a lot of people don't say that. They always say, you know, we want to you know, protect the kids and mothers. No, we want to protect everybody and we want to make sure everybody's educated and everybody's being respected in our facility. And your life, your life is a profile for some of the young people, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, I'd like to think so. <laughs> you, you, you got a history behind your life, right? Yes, absolutely. But can you talk about you coming up in Wilmington and how you got to get into the free barber and all of that? Well, yeah, um, I think with me growing up in the project area over in Riverside, you know I mean? I grew up around um, a lot of poverty. The, and I'm not talking about third world poverty, just the fact that we didn't have you know, a lot of things that other kids may have had sometimes. And, you know, I mean, I talked to my mom, man. Me and her just had a conversation about this recently. You know what I mean? Boy, you had a good Christmas. Like, oh, yeah, I know, mom. We had some rough Christmas, too. Um, but for the most part, I had to cut hair because other kids around my around my way were struggling. You know what I mean? So they couldn't afford haircuts and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to the barber shop all the time, so we used to go to the neighborhood barber. Um, and then I went there to watch the neighborhood barber, and I ended up starting cutting hair to be more affordable for, you know, upcoming, you know, kids. So I ended up getting a, uh, doing an apprenticeship and um, ended up getting my license, became a professional barber, and then later on became the, on the board of cosmetology of Barber and became the president of the board of cosmetology in, in the whole state of Delaware. So I think you need to have a seat at the table for you to make decisions. So from the projects to progress and up to the president of the board, you know what I mean? I, my journey was, you know, trying to help our community. You know I mean? I've been doing that all my life. Well, how long have you been cutting that? Well, I've been in the business for about 11 years now. Okay. I started out just doing um, just everyone's hair. I mostly did women's hair. When I came here, I started getting into more of like the men's hair cutting. So I've been in cosmetology for about 11 years now. Well, I was a little shocked when I came in to get a touch up and he told me you would take care of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's a really good barber. I'm glad yeah. you let me do it though. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so as you know, it's just a pleasure of trying to find out. We'll be trying to do is find out what we can educate people mm -hmm. because we don't know how long this is going to last. Yeah. Uh, people can talk about it's going to be over for a while and got all kinds of reasons for yeah. it and all that. We don't know how long for it lasts. So we people have got to learn how to protect themselves. I said last Sunday for the last couple of Sundays on the air. If we got to be lifeguards for our own self. Mm -hmm. And if we if we be a lifeguard for yourself, then that means if you save your life, you might save somebody else's life. Yes. And when you wear a, a mask, a mask is not only to protect you from catching something, it's somebody catching something from you. I agree. And if, yeah. You, yeah, if you don't keep the distance, that makes a, a difference. So what we wanted to do was talk with you, my friend, because we have been talking about coming on the air. Yes. We just never got to it. My pleasure. Here. And I got to bring my daughter along with me, so that, that was even probably perfect timing. Because she yep. had to be well, I mean, she, she was going to try to ease out of it from the beginning. Uh, <laughs> she always do that. She always try to ease out of stuff with me, but I set her up every time. So but we're going to be doing quite a bit on site. Uh, uh, instead of just doing stuff out of the studio. Well, the studio is down the down the uh, uh, sidewalk, but it's closed down now. Yeah. So I do most of the stuff from home, and we edited Dennis edited at home. So okay, we good. when we gonna get back into the studio? So that's why I'm gonna do a lot of on site stuff now, okay. and get out in the community and talk with people. That's how you find out the different perspectives and how people are thinking. I agree. And then I get a chance by everybody knowing me for years. 
I, I get a chance to really talk to teenagers. They listen to me. Last week I was out in the community and I saw four teenagers standing up in a hall talking. Uh, what was good about it, one of them spoke to them and that gave me a chance to pull over and stop and I had a conversation. Well, after talking with them, one of them parents called me and thanked me for talking to them because she, the little girl went on and told her mama that I talked with them and she said that they thanked me for doing that. And that's all it takes sometimes. You know, people get wrapped up, not only the young people, mm -hmm. a lot of adults get wrapped up in themselves and they, they don't want to really make changes. People, a lot of people don't want to make changes. They no don't. Matter, no matter yeah. what. Yeah. So in position, when you have a platform like I have and have an audience like I have, so we're going to be going around in the community to different parks and different places, making sure we educate people on how to keep safe and yeah. how to keep alive. You have some closing remarks you want to make? Well, I just think um, that we all got to um, pay attention that it's a new time now. And a lot of times, well, right now we got to make some changes and we got to embrace the change. You know what I mean? Most important uh, thing in life is our health and our safety and for the safety of our family. So I just encourage everybody to hang in there, hold on and, and be patient and um, remind you that we all connect and we all in this together. You know what I mean? So um, we can make it happen. We just got to be patient, you know. Okay. From his image barbershop. I've been talking to my longtime good friend and his daughter. They're trying to get some perspective on what the customers come into the barbershop. As I said before, if you want to find out what's going on in the community, you talk to the barbers and the beauticians because everybody comes to the barbershop and yes, everybody does. gets their hair done. Yep. So until next time, this is Trinity Brown on the Spiritual Revival Hour. <laughs>